Chris Hall, it's Becky Baseball here. If you know what day it is on the calendar well, then you know what day it is. Ellen and Ginter Arrival Day. I'm repping. Picked up a box at Nick's Sports Cards, Dallas, Texas. $98. And I can't break the seal. All right, here we go. You'll notice this year, as if I can get this out of the wrapper, that the box style is different than in the past. It's a uh, Gypsy Queen style box. Gone is the cigarette style box of the last eight years. It's pretty much that this is the first time it's been different in the history of Ginter. Oh, oh, wow. How's that for a box topper? Exclusive mini parallel pack. That'll work. I don't remember the odds on those, but that may not be. It might be a, a rare one there. All right. 24 packs of... Uh, Eight cards a piece, and apparently my box topper is a mini pack. Looks like a pack of gum almost. I'm gonna open it first. There's an odds panel. Let's see what it says. Actually, it's not. It's a copyright panel. Ooh, serial numbered out of 33 on all of these cards. They're definitely not that easy to pull. Juan Segura, the red border apparently is this color. Mark McGuire out of 33. Jose Iglesias out of 33. Jackie Robinson out of 33. And Yaziel Puig out of 33. I knew that they had done some bonus packs. Like they might be one per case. So it looks like I got some luck on my side here today. Let's get ripping. <clears throat> The standard formula for Ginter is pretty much as it has been. One mini per pack with all kinds of weird stuff included along with the baseball players. For example, Into the Unknown, Ferdinand Magellan, an Explorer card. This year's base set is, I believe, 300 cards capped with 50 short printed cards, 301 to 350. Here's a Jared Weaver base card. Alex Gordon. Duke Snyder, I almost said D, Tom Seaver, Natural Wonder, Socotra Archipelago, hmm, there you go, I got nothing there, I should know better, right, Hal Newhauser and Sparky Anderson, next pack, gotta keep my minis and my regulars separated, you know, all right. I haven't done a whole lot of reading on, on the final inclusions of this one. I did see the autograph checklist and saw some names I liked. How about for a mini card of Buster Posey? That's my first Ginter mini card for baseball of the year. How about the Iguazu Falls between Argentina and Brazil? John Lester. Mike Trout, Bryce Harper with a horizontal card this year. That's different. Another Tiger, two packs, at least three Tigers, Al Kaline. One of the cooler autographs and memorabilia card inclusions this year, if you ask me. Dr. James Andrews. What took this guy so long to make a set? He has saved so many baseball and football careers. Miss Universe, Maria Gabriela Eisler. No stats on the back of her card. I think it says something about her being near six feet tall. I'll check that out when my camera's not rolling. I'm sure you just want to see the next pack. Daniel Nava who has a beard card in this one. Check out Becca.com News for the info. Matt Davidson. How many do you need? Reggie Jackson. The large Jackie Robinson. And I dropped it. Air Supremacy, the AC-47 Spooky. Here's one of the oddball inclusions, a Judah Friedlander card. He's among the people who have signed autographs for this one. Dusty Baker, Robin Yount. Boom. Next pack. <clears throat> Albert Pujols, Warren Spahn, Jordano Ventura. 
I'm not going to show every base card. I'll let you do some viewing elsewhere and out there on eBay and the world to find things. Ricky Henderson, pastimes, pastimes. It sounds like he was a football player in addition to his baseball stardom. Jared Parker, with an Allen and Ginter mini back. Pretty much the standard formula across the board, really. Um, the newsworthy part of the base set, though, Helen Keller. C.J. Wilson, Ricky Nolasco. Next pack. That box topper is pretty cool. So far, it's the highlight. Let's see here. How about a Juan Gonzalez mini card? Short printed. Juan gone. World's Capitals, Berlin, Germany. Base cards of Zach Greinke, Osvaldo Arcia, little Greg Maddox action, George Brett, Steve Carlton, Bill Buckner as a Dodger. At least he's not shown as a Red Sox. Next pack. Chris Medlin, Wade Miley, Bob Gibson. Boom. Wade Anthony Boggs. Lou Brock. Pastimes, pastimes. He was a businessman as well. Predators. World, world's deadliest predators. A Lanomia. Hundreds of deaths in South America over the last decade have been attributed to the venom of the Lanomia no, obiglia. Known as the giant silkworm moth or assassin caterpillar. Well, found mainly in Brazil, two inches long. So, if you don't want to be bitten by a crazy caterpillar, don't head to Brazil right now. I mean, I'm sure they might be around there somewhere else, but it says it's in Brazil. So, as long as you're not in Brazil, you're cool. How about Vincent Edward Bo Jackson? Ralph Kiner. Elvis Andrews. Matt Carpenter. I really liked the, the, the base card design this year. How about Buffalo Bill Cody? Another inclusion from the past, Mike Piazza. I'm about a third of the way through the box and no hits yet. Three hits per box, a mix of autographs, framed relics, relics, and other framed oddities. I'll keep going. My mini card here is a Desmond Jennings. Natural Wonders, the Travertine Pools. Evan Longoria, Joe Maurer, Jared Parker, Jose Bautista, Tommy Lasorda. Getting a little action in the Ginters. Next pack. <clears throat> Mark Tashira, Willa McCovey, 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 Ted Williams, Paul Canerco. How about Rembrandt? Followed up by Roger Maris. Card number one in the set. That's cool. Good to see that one. Another base card in the back. I totally missed who it was. I have a Ginter Code card in this one. Be the first to crack the code. Take my clues, people. Ready? Go. Soak it up. Take it. Take that clue. Roldis Chapman. Doug Fister. Sandy Koufax, 3,000 Years of Beautiful Tradition. Dion Sanders. The low, oh, that's cool. Festivals and Fairs, La Tomatina. I believe this is the party where they all grab tomatoes and destroy them. 150,000 tossed tomatoes, otherwise known as a catch-up fest. Carly Lloyd, Olympic Soccer. Andrew Lambo, Dan Straley. Nothing yet, no hits. I hope I didn't get shorted because I got a case topper, box topper deal. Jake Marisnik, uh, Adrian Gonzalez, Ozzy Smith, another Sandy Koufax, this time a pastimes, pastimes insert, which actually is very large. Juan Gonzalez, Matt Moore, mini. Don Sutton, a little old school action. Get my hat straight here. Ugh. Feels like it's poofing off my head. Uh oh, framed mini card or framed relic card of some sort. Let's see here. Moscow, Russia, world's capitals. How about a Willie Mays mini card? 
a framed mini relic, and there are a few, there's different kinds of relics this year. This is my favorite, Paul O'Neill, not the Paul O'Neill part, but the framed mini. I love the frames. Paul O'Neill bat card. Rafael Palmero and a businessman Sam Gaglione. Hmm, the creator of Dogfish Head Brewery. Interesting. Read all about them. Next pack. Ryan Howard, Hanley Ramirez, David Price with little horizontal card action. Nolan Ryan, pastimes, pastimes. Hal Newhauser, mini. A world's athletes, in, not an insert, it's a standard card. Samantha Briggs, fitness champion. Obviously, if you know Ginter, Ginter has all kinds of eclectic inclusions, non-baseball inclusions, athletes, eccentric uh, achievers, personalities, celebrities, more and more these days. Um, oh, another cool insert. Fields of, Fields of Yore. Sportsman's Park, St. Louis. There are relics of the famed stadiums. Here's a black-bordered mini of a pretty big name these days, Derek Jeter. Let's see here. Another Ginter code card. Steal my, steal my clues. Felicia Day from Buffy and the Vampire Slayer and more. Or Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Mike Pereira, broadcaster. I've only got about nine packs left with two hits to go. Rookie card, bottom bottom corner there, Xander Bogarts, Freddie Freeman, Mike Schmidt, Mr. Rau, Josh Hamilton mini. Uh, who's this? Dave Portnoy, a blogger for Barstool Sports. Bet he'll be blogging about his cardboard experience. I'll read all about him and learn more later. Travis Dunard. Hiroki Kuroda, Air Supremacy, the F-15 Eagle. How about a relic, this time not a framed relic, Prince Fielder as a Detroit Tiger, interestingly enough. I haven't, I've gone on record in the past, I'm not that big of a fan of the non-framed relics, but these look pretty solid. That's a pretty nice looking design. Another black mini of Dustin Pedroia. And Aaron Brady, Miss USA. I was at the shop earlier and I saw a Miss Universe autograph pulled. So odds are I don't have one of those in my packs. Balfour Rage. Mark McGuire has returned to Tops this year. Here's one of his latest cards. Pastimes, pastime. Rafael Palmero mini. Here's one for the foodies out there. Anthony Bourdain, the kitchen confidential dude because I'm not a foodie, so I can't tell you more than that. Just happened to read that on the back of his card. Bowler, Mark Roth. So I've got two hits. Hopefully a third hit is coming, and hopefully it's some ink. Or a oddball relic. I saw a redemption card for a booklet card at the shop as well. Fumble. Little Lions. Watch out. That's funny. Japanese Bobtail. Little Lions, a cat card set. I can dig it. Here's Prince Fielder as a as a uh, ranger. Mike Zunino, the E1 e, EA 18G Growler, Air Supremacy card. Larry King, longtime ripper, first first time caller. Hector Santiago, Junior Lake, Buster Posey, Andrew McCutcheon, Andy Pettit, Willen Rosario as a mini. How about Michael Eisner, the owner, essentially, of the Topps Company? Only a handful of packs left. One hit to go. <clears throat> Let's see here. Roger Maris, Pastimes, Pastimes. Boom. Gary Sheffield Mini. And I, I don't want to take credit for this inclusion, but I want to take credit for this inclusion. We'll see if I get credit for this inclusion. Probably not. I'm sure somebody thought of it themselves. 
that I tweeted out months ago that I thought Daniel Okrint should have a Ginter card. Want to know why? He invented rotisserie baseball, which essentially is fantasy baseball. How about that? He's a historian slash sports writer slash scholar of the game. All right, here. Garrett Cole, Castro, Profar, a third relic in my box. First, a Cave of Crystals card. Ah, this is interesting. A, uh, another writer inclusion. Chuck Klosterman, a very popular scribe out there, and this is a memorabilia card of him. Boom. Doug Fister and poker champion Ryan Rice. Next pack. Mike Trout, Pastimes, Pastimes. Nice looking card of Paul Goldschmidt. Predators insert many of the Cape Buffalo. Jonah Friedlander and Diana Nyad. Two packs to go. Will I get a bonus hit? I saw a box at the shop that had two autos and two mem inside. We shall see. Didi Gregorius. How about a Jose Canseco? That's always fun. That's his first Ginter card. World Capitals. London. Allison Felix, Jeff Locke, mini card of Ivan Nova, final pack. Come on, something. Timmy Lincecum, Albert Pujols, World's Athletes, Power Lifter, I see, Laura Phelps, Swat, Sweat. Uh, oh, yeah, the Batting Stance guy. That's a cool inclusion. Hopefully he had some autographs. I bet he does. We'll see. I haven't checked the checklist yet. And that was that. So I had three relics in one box. Probably not the biggest box of the bunch. Chuck Klosterman, Prince Fielder, Jeter Mini, and Paul O'Neill. But I think it's a case-type pack. Five red bordered minis out of 33. That was that was my box. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Tell me what you got in your in the comments below about your box. And, well, let me know. Rip some more and tell me how it goes. Till next time, Chris Holtz, Beggy Baseball. Just keep ripping.